come on now. Yeah, come on now. Come on now, bring that Camaro up in there now. Yeah, come on now. Oh, all right. You can come in a little bit. You can come a little. I mean, that's good. That's good. I don't know what day it is, but I think we're gonna post this video on Sunday as like shit post Sunday video. We're gonna work on the shit boxes, which is like my favorite thing to do right now. That, those racetrack sandwiches good. Yeah. They're like 89 to 90% of a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Don't sleep on these. Don't. Mm -hmm. They're so fucking good. God dang, man. This is too much General Motors in one room. This is way too much General Motors. <laughs> 89, the 95, the 73, and the 08. <laughs> <laughs> That's too f***ing many. You wonder why people yell at me all the time to get projects done. I don't get it. No, I'm good, we don't get enough. Mm -mm. I think we should take the Camaro apart. We should take the 89 apart. No. <laughs> we should take the, the 95 apart and then just have six cars that don't run in here. Oh, I forgot about the Mustang. You forget that this car is even here because it don't even look like a car. <laughs> I'm going to get so much shit in the comments for leaving my shop like this. Like this is a rough, this is a rough scene right here. I get it. I do. I get y'all's frustrations. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's the <laughs> stuff part is I don't care what people think. Uh, today I'm gonna be installing a radio in my car while Ham finishes up his windows trim. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Man, it smells like gas in here. Is it because of that gas hole? Probably. Man. Dude, so I did my first launch of this thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. How'd that go? Um, I haven't had that much excitement since I did like my first motorcycle pull on my DRZ. Really? Yeah. You had like a full on fear boner? <laughs> well, it just went, man. I don't know what to tell you. That's why I was late, because I just kept driving for a minute. Oh, this is, I, I just realized that this was a Grant steering wheel. Oh yeah, you gotta fix, you know, while you're in there, you can probably fix that window. Yeah, uh, it sounds like it's just on the track. I'm gonna turn that off for me. Oh man, it does smell like gas in here. <laughs> it's a 93. It's a 93, baby. This is not a sponsored video, but I bought one of these, a Toto, <laughs> a, a Toto radios, and uh, everyone has really good reviews on it. It's a, it's a double din. I also have the adapters for it here, uh, but we're going to pull out this radio today. All right, what's up, YouTube? It's, it's your boy, Dan. I got my, my boy, Ham, behind the camera today for, for this video. But today, I would tell you guys about this new this new truck that I got, and I was like, it's not a build, so I immediately bought a bunch of for it, and this is just one of the big things that I really needed. I got a radio for it, it's a double din radio. It basically takes this factory radio out, which would be like a din and a half, which is just the size of a radio. So like, the regular Pioneer radios that you find in like Ham's car that he just got, that's called a single din radio. And then double din is the ones that are like taller. And then this is like a din and a half. It's like really awkward. So for these trucks, you can buy these, which is like, this is a new face plate. It moves the, uh, it moves the AC stuff down just a wee bit. Gives you the room for the second din, whatever you want to call it, and still have your storage. All it does just removes all this crap. So, uh, mine looks like it just popped out. I don't know if they're all supposed to be able to pop out that easy. That's as low as that goes. They're definitely connected to it still. Can't. He's supposed to get it out. There's gotta be like, don't tell me I have to take out my steering car. I like working on old cars because it's convenient sometimes, but like, I also don't like working on old cars because I'm gonna break some shit, you know? Next, uh... Hey, oh, by the way, ever since I got this truck, people yell at me in Spanish now on Instagram. They say all sorts of weird, weird things that I don't understand. I want to let you guys know that I don't speak Spanish, and I feel like there's a lot of stuff culturally that I don't understand about this truck that I'm just starting to like learn. But thank you guys. I, I appreciate the Spanish community for participating in my videos. It's it's new to me, and I appreciate you guys' patience. But they, they keep saying things like, no, no mama lona ka? No, no mama lona? which I think means something like my truck can't do a burnout. I find that weird that there's a specific Spanish phrase specifically for that, that people in lowered, older body Chevy trucks can't do a burnout. I find that weird. But anyway, also I wanna say like, if any of that stuff I said is racist, I apologize. I'm just caught, I, I should probably look that up before I just go saying it, but you never know. Legally speaking. Legally speaking, I had <laughs> <laughs> Man, imagine trying to explain the Come Town podcast <laughs> to my my friends. They're they're out there. They're very out there. 
When I was a screen printer, that's all I did was listen to podcasts. And that's where you found them? And I, I mean, I, one of my coworkers b was listening to them, and uh, that's how I found them. That is hilarious. Because like we, we would work like eight, nine hour shifts on the press just standing there doing t-shirts. Can't go anywhere to do anything. Yeah, so we just, music got tired. Of course. It, and podcasts just make the day go, go, go. Yeah, well, you listen to someone talk. That's my For favorite like four, part. About, four or five hours, yeah. That's my favorite part about it is that you feel like you're engulfed in a conversation with somebody, you know, and the next thing you know, it's clock out time. Mm -hmm. This is not bad. I really thought this was going to be more worse than this. Of course, I haven't even touched that part yet. Like the wiring. And by the way, Ham, I'm going to show you how to do actual wiring for a radio today instead of your zip tie or your, your tie down bullshit that you use. Hey, man, I work with what I know. Hey, man. That's how I was taught. Who taught you? My dad. Well, your dad, I'm gonna call your dad. <laughs> I'm gonna call your dad and tell him how to do wiring. But granted, he works on like houses and things, so. Yeah, that's some housing electrician, those twisty ties that you mm. do, you motherfucker. Hey, if it works. If it works, it works. Is that it? Is that all, all the things? I'm gonna transfer this rubber trim. Unless there's screws, for, there's probably screws for this. Put my dashboard up on my dashboard real quick. How does it come out? You normally have little flip slides that go. Oh. That's it? Mm -hmm. At least I could just be talking out of my ass entirely. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Similar concept. I just, you know. Whatever. <laughs> I had some steps. <laughs> God, you act like all GM stuff's gonna be the exact same. This is cool. I'm gonna hold on to this. I think this will be worth something soon. Like these old school tape decks. My dad would kill me if I threw this out. <laughs> He's one of those guys. What do you have it set on? That wasn't supposed to do that. I mean, it is. It's designed to do that. Look at that mechanism. That's neat. simple <sighs> anything cool you found hidden no no cigarettes nothing you remember when you when you smoked that cigarette did we ever upload that video no but i'll put it in this one okay yeah. that was a good part ham found a cigarette in his dashboard and then he ate it what'd you just find uh probably like an 89 marble underneath the <laughs> we, we you pull this dash yeah, cover off i'm pulling the dash cover off to replace it Look how gross that is. It's like a McDonald's french fry that you found in between the seats. Oh, you're gonna die. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. That's not that one. Yeah. <laughs> you can cut and remove the rear shelf supports. Figure A. It wants me to like cut shit or something. It's like, place the climate control template into the factory climate new mount control mounting hole and mark the new locator holes in the sub dash. What does that mean? That might work. I might get this to work. Dremel brand Milwaukee. So I have to see if I can finagle this thing in here. Since it's going slower than it should be, it's more like melting it rather than it is cutting it. But. Cutting it close to that wire. This is impossible <laughs> with this setup. I just don't want to go to the store. Dang it. Yeah, so I have to delete this little, this box right here that kind of gets in the way. My buddy Upchurch has turned his entire Instagram into a Pokemon Instagram right now. <laughs> like my buddy uh, Ryan, my buddy Upchurch. Y'all probably know him. Most of y'all probably know him. 
I was seeing the other day, man, he, he, he discovered all these Pokemon cards, I guess, that are worth some money at his house or something like that. He, he forgot he had them, maybe from when he was a kid. And he's back into them. And his entire Instagram page now is all about Pokemon cards. I love you, man. I think it's cool as shit that you're just, like, passionate about something. You're like, fuck it now. I'm going to do Pokemon cards. Fuck this country shit. <laughs> he went from country rap to selling Pokemon cards. He's still doing rap. Damn it, man. When in doubt, use your pliers. Man, why does it gotta be like this? You know? <laughs> Why I gotta be cut a bunch of shit? Why can't it be pull and play, you know? That's all Dan wants right now, is a plug and play. Now I gotta fucking switch out another cutting wheel. It would take the same amount of time to go to the store and get a new Dremel attachment than it would be to do it this way, because the store's far as fuck. Well, then I gotta hook up my battery. <laughs> Back the Camaro out. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, we could take the Fiero, but it don't stop. We get to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever we're going to and just crash inside the building. I'm about one step away from getting out my angle grinder though. <laughs> That'd be like, rat, 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 rat. Oops, cut the whole dash out. Guess we're gonna do an LS swap. <laughs> <laughs> hey honey, they call Laura. Be like, hey boo, listen, I know I said I was gonna keep this one stock really for like a little while. But I cut the dashboard in half. It was, uh, it was on accident, I swear. <laughs> That's what gets cut out. Someone's gonna be like, how do you know it's not gonna crack the whole dashboard? I don't, I just don't care. Okay, we're getting close. How? How are you still attached? It's probably gonna be like a burnt plastic smell from the AC for like a couple days, you know? <laughs> Paint it black, yeah. All I have to do now is put these whole templates in the machine and drill them. They go in here and then I do this shit like that. Drill my hole into plastic until my heart explodes. I'm singing paint it black by the rolling stones. Na 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 he wants some milk. All right, I feel like the radio needs to come down just a wee bit, but other than that, it looks good. Maybe if I just tilt the top of it down just a wee bit. Hell yeah, all right, no, no, no. Let's, let's, let's get out of this. Let's do, uh, I gotta, I gotta play my song, my favorite song. When you first push in the clutch, that's the moment.
This actually lines up pretty good. It's just kind of just held in by a little bit of tension. I sure would like some screws in this. It's slightly better than stock. And you know what, that's all I really need. Better than stock, baby. It sounds all right. Yeah. That's what this truck needed. This truck needed some suicide, boys. <laughs> That'll look bad. I'm happy with that. All right, so your boy Dan gets his radio installed, right? And then Ham's over here. What are you doing, Ham? You're replacing your... Well, so it started off with window seals, right? Yeah. And the motor's gone bad in this one. So now I'm like, well, the panel's off. Might as well replace the motor. Uh, it's a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of fucking bullshit. You gotta be drilling out rivets. These four rivets, and then there's another two inside here that's connected to the regulator. Um, that also had to be drilled out. I don't uh -oh. have a fucking idea how to get to those. Carefully, I suppose. What's the alternative? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we just cut this whole section out. We just cut the whole section out, we weld it back in. It'll work the same. The famous sitting in the car while watching a YouTube watching tutorial. YouTube videos. <laughs> the parts in my lap. Can't tell you how many times I've been where you're at right now. Anyway, I'm gonna look at my new radiator. A <laughs> row of radiator, radio. Well, while you're doing like whatever you're doing, I'm doing the real work and putting some heat wave visual air fresheners in your truck, your car. Windows and mirrors and shit to work on. I'll put this right here. Appreciate it. Yeah, that'll cover up most of that gas smell. <laughs> All right, so what you need, what you gotta do? So what, you need to draw these door rivets? Yeah, unfortunately. I'm just gonna use a cable grinder. This these two, right? <laughs> these are the ones that we tried, we're like, oh, these are the wrong ones? Yeah. Okay. Drill it while it's in the thing, you can do it. So, that's it right there. Now I see why you get up all my shit when you're recording with this lens. Right? Because you can be like right next to somebody and still get focused. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's a little bit. I think that's the right one. <laughs> Him's favorite thing to do is just drill and not know. Drill, drill, drill. You'd make a great oil tycoon. Okay, an hour and a half later, we got the we got the motor on its way out. There it is! Wow, hey! that's all it was. That's look at that. Great. Woohoo! Look at look at this old crusty boy compared to this brand new busty boy. Hopefully, this is the the issue. God, I hope so. After all that fucking work, at least you have a brand new window motor. I got two. Uh, I plan to do the nope. second one, but not mm -mm. today. No, -uh. that's <laughs> next month's project. <laughs> that's November. Hey, did it show you how to put the screws in there? Nope. Man, that's gonna be a bitch. Just to how to remove it. I wouldn't worry about that. That's um, that's some other people's garbage. Oh, I wasn't even zoomed out all the way this whole time. Oh, I've been bleeding. Ugh! Ugh! Is that your fingernail? Oh! Oh! What, oh, what the oh, fuck? What the fuck? Let me see that shit. Oh! Bro, what? you just had. What'd you do? I don't know. What the fuck did you what? do? That's these are, gross. These are new jeans too. Why would you work on your car in new I jeans? Don't know. <laughs> now it hurts because I'm looking at it. You're like, oh, well, now I'm conscious of it. That's been going on for a minute. Stop. Ah. Oh. Oh. Dude, are you are you picking it up? Oh. oh. Not other people. This is a first for me. That's uh. That's gross. This is great. Um. My dexterity's all fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why does his finger hurt? You did all that work, almost lost your finger, you know? This, this window motor better work. You diagnosed this and installed this, so. Look at that shit. I'll be fucked. 
Good job, man. It only costs you a finger. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at that shit. Whoop whoop! Hell yeah, how do you feel? What was that? <laughs> oh cool, of course these aren't gonna line up at all. Oh fucking hell no. Why would they do that? I feel different using your cam because like this is your camera setup, so I feel different using your camera setup than mine. I'm not used to a, a lens being pointed in my face. I know man, how's it feel to be on camera? Like it's, it's different. I'm although, trying to tell people now that Although this is way better than me fucking trying to record myself though. Yeah, it fucking sucks trying to record yourself. Right. Like this is great because I can I can fuck off and record like Ham's a part of the squad. So it's do with Dan and Ham now, right? Like the same thing it is a do with Dan and Justin and Laura. Ham's a part of what was that? Oh you got it? No. Oh. That's my hand. Oh. It might be. Are you stuck? Uh oh, step bro. <laughs> oh, step bro, no! Oh, step bro, no! <laughs> My hand's stuck. <laughs> Call your step bro. I'm sure he'll get the nut back there real quick. <laughs> oh, fucking sweet. <laughs> you want to know what I think you ought to do? What's that? You should throw a fucking zip tie through the top one. Call it good. Zip ties are just plastic screws. That's all they are. That's all. They're weatherproof. Heat resistant, petroleum resistant. They won't rust. That's cool. They're not really UV resistant. You leave zip ties out in the sun for 10 years, they're going to break. <laughs> there you are. Look at that, how immediately quickly that was. <laughs> immediately quickly. Push. Nah, you're good. That's all you need. It's <laughs> not fucking going nowhere. He's like, I'll fucking put a second one in. That's how froggy <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling about this idea. I'll put a second one in just to say, fuck yeah. It was so much faster that you went the extra mile and put a second zip tie. That, that, well, if you're going to do it right. Yeah, sure. You're going to half-ass. <laughs> if you're going to half-ass. You got to half-ass. Fully, fully-ass the half-ass. That's quarter-ass, is it? A full half-ass job would be three-quarters because one plus one and a half. That's good. Woo! I'm gonna try to hitch play. Look at that Hitchcock zoom. Hitchcock zoom. Uh, oh. Fast dolly zoom. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Nice. Did you Google it while yeah. while editing in the last I video? Did, yeah. I figured you did, you piece of shit. Even though I took that out though. You took it out? Yeah. What? That was a good bit. It was a good bit, but we were all over the place. It wasn't good. It was. A, I had to chop the fuck out of it to make it even like eligible. Yeah. Boo. You gonna trim them? Trim what? The zip ties. Oh, um. You can tell that by his delayed response, he had not considered it. <laughs> this isn't a bad, like, selfie rig, though. I mean, it could be better. It feels like I'm holding a bunch of anal beads, but. It's a little heavy. It's a little hefty, yeah. You looking for dykes? Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Hell yeah, I forgot I had those. Yeah, some blue ones on there. Ham has been working in my shop now for so long, he pretty much knows where everything's at. Just a... Ah! Oh, you could use those dikes to trim your nail while you're at it. You want me to do ah, it for I you? I did it again. No, fuck off. Let me trim it for you. No. Are you sure? Yes. What the fuck? What the fuck? Just cut it. Just fucking... Are you pulling it? You gotta cut it. Bro, you just gotta rip it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's stuck in there now. Oh, there it goes. The blue ones are cut. Let me, let's look at the teeth on these. Go back into your surgery spot. Yeah, all right, doctor, doctor feel good, report for duty. Doctor feel good, doctor feel nothing. Ah! Do you get it? No, fucking shaky hands don't help at all. Well, it's probably because you have to cut your fucking fingernail off. The fuck? I cannot handle this right now. I'm watching it through the screen and I'm, do you get it? Ugh. That's, oh. Laura's gonna have some shit to say about this section of the video. Oh. Every time it focuses, you move. Oh. I'm gonna go wash this off now. Yeah, now put, that... some, uh, put some grip clean in there. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. What are we doing, Ham? Well, we forgot to film an ending. That's for right. For today's video. Correct, that's what we're doing right now fourth wall break because I forgot to film an ending. Now we're doing it like this in the comfort of my own living room 
uh, relaxing for no reason. I literally stopped playing Halo so I could film the outro. <laughs> but uh, we installed my radio and did your window motor. And, and I fucked up my finger. And he fucked up his finger, but it's feeling better now. But in the next video, we're going to be doing the subwoofers. subwoofers on the OBS. <laughs> it's so fun having someone else manage your videos now because he just tells me what to what videos we're working on. So stay tuned, guys. we got a bunch more stuff for the OBS Chevy coming up. I know I said it's not a build. It's not. It's not a build. Uh... I might have the engine and transmission pulled out of that motherfucker and be like, it's still not a build. Like, what I, in my opinion of, like, what a build is, like, what I'm doing to the 73 or what I'm doing to the Fox body. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And we'll go back to playing Halo. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Ham.